will see that zone very soon. Trey Alexander, he is so dangerous in the mid-range, and right away he connects. Kuznar misses in tight. Alexander a three, and he's got five quick points. Well, they just lost in that time. And his three-point shooting, not as good this year as it was last year, but still capable. Jackson Shelstead puts Oregon on the board, the freshman. Kuznard has his first bucket. This kid has taken a ton of free throws this year. And we have it, now we're seeing the zone. And you see how they point? Oh, they lost him. That was bad defense. Colt Brenner the follow. Dante has to make Colt Brenner pay by staying that far back, by setting screens, and then Colt Brenner's not there to hedge the screen. And guys can get 15 foot jumpers at the elbow. Dante over Colt Brenner. So far, we're a combined 27% from the floor. Shireman knocks it down. Look at Dante. Yeah. Look how he's got his hands down on his knees. I mean, the pace of this game for them has been pretty quick. Tracy, no good. Dante cleans it up. Tracy stops on the baseline and connects. They've missed their last eight three-point attempts. Hulk Brenner inside. Well, he's not going to miss. He shoots 63% for his career. Other than Dante, who's going to step up for Oregon with Kuznard on the bench? Tracy. You think Shellstead? Right here. He is. He's got it. Good call. <laughs> and Dana Altman is putting him back in with two fouls. I like him coming in with two fouls. He's an upperclassman. Shireman hits the three. Kalk Brenner. And good defense there by Diawara. Kuznard. Off glass for two. Shot clock at five. Shireman puts it on the deck. Out to Alexander. Left alone for three. He hits. Well, Shireman did a great job of penetrating into the middle of that defense. Against Akron. Trey Alexander played 39 minutes. Shireman played 38 minutes. Dante, the finish. You know, Trout tried the three-quarter in that time. Sometimes when you play a zone and you're ma not matching up good, you give up rebounds. Oh, what a good screen. Shireman misfires from deep. Offensive rebound to Green. That's exactly what Dana Altman was just talking about. 14 points of their 21 second chance. Unbelievable. Dante with the answer at the other end. These five starters so good. The only team in the country to have three players averaging 17 points per game. Kuznar three. It's good. And Oregon takes the lead. This, this team is hard to match up because of the way they move. Even though they really don't have to guard Jason Green outside. Colt Brenner gets it done. Dante defending Colt Brenner. Five on the shot clock. Colt Brenner sees it at the other end of the floor. Now goes up. And scores. Five minutes to go in the first. Farabello is open. Knocks it down. Well, they got no points off their bench the other day. Now they got five. Evan spinning in the paint. Oh, nearly traveled. Kuznard catch and shoot. Bang. And Alexander corner three. Kuznard sees he has numbers, so he's going to run it. Kuznard goes to coast. He is a killer finisher. Since Kuznard came back in with the two fouls, he has scored 10 points in six and a half minutes. Shireman to Kalkbrenner. To Kalkbrenner. But the Ducks have had the answers in the first half. Yeah, I mean, that was way too easy. I mean, he was just standing on the basket by himself. Look at this guy. Wide open. Kuznard. I think Oregon has, a, they look a little tired to me. Tracy Runner gets the roll. And Dana Altman will call timeout. Dusty May going to Michigan lap. How that about that? was a quick change. Yeah, Shireman from the corner. That's the second time out of a timeout. Four guys out there that can shoot and they move. Creighton shot 59% from deep against Akron tonight. 
They are 22% from beyond the arc. I don't know if they're going to do that with the limited bench they had, and they got all regulars in the game. Ashworth with four seconds left. It's good! It's in 40 seconds. Yeah, he made a big one there. They went underneath. Shellstead went underneath that screen. You can't do that with any of these guys on great. You got to go over the top. And Evans with Greg McDermott. Season two of the HBO original series House of the Dragon premieres June 16th only on Max. Kuznard, corner, won't go. Dante, the offensive rebound, and he puts it in. Well, he's not waving his arms and going crazy. <laughs> he's very, he's more stoic than I was. I agree with that, too. Kuznard, two more. Much better job in transition that time. Alexander creates separation, and he is so dangerous in that area. This is reminiscent of how the first half started, yeah. with neither team making a shot. There's one. Usually 50% of their shots are threes. They're really letting them go, but not making them tonight. Oregon trying to end a scoreless drought. Who do they go to but Kuznar? Dante. Working on Kochbrenner. Wins that matchup. And the Ducks regain the lead. Pac-12 has gone 6-1 and one at the NCAA tournament. The lone loss was today with Washington State as Kuznar hits another. Ashworth with five to shoot. He'll take it. And knock it down. There it is again. Kuznard to Dante. Oh, what a catch. And he finishes. What a catch. What do you call the long arm of the law up there catching that ball? They got him matched up pretty good on this possession. Shireman only eight points. Can he add to his total? Yes, he can. The first two times she's seen him play were in round one, and today he's got 61 points. I talked to Jermaine, and he lived with his grandmother. As Shireman knocks down another bucket from fourth grade to senior year. Ten on the shot clock. Here's Kuznard for three. It's good. And Grandma loves it. And that's why he's able to make it. Ashworth high off the glass for two. Shot clock down to five. It's in Kuznard's hands. On the attack. Over Kalkbrenner. No. Dante helps him out. You see how Kuznard demanded the ball there? Dante muscling his way with Kalkbrenner in his left hand. Whoa. And Greg McDermott is saying that's got to be something. It looks like a touch for Dante here. Got to keep moving. Shireman got a hand on it. Rigsby with three to shoot. Rigsby inside. Dante, the offensive board, and the putback. On this 6-0 run for the Ducks, all six have been scored by Dante. Kuznard for three. It's gone! Take it back. <laughs> well, they're going to run the high pick and roll here. Paul Brenner's coming up. He's not running drop coverage. Now he's going to drop a two late. Oh! Dante's Inferno! He dropped, but too late. And test Kalkbrenner on how he's going to guard it. Kuznar to the hoop. Over to Dante again. Drive to the basket. Kalkbrenner comes over trying to help. Ashworth over to Shireman. Shireman. Step back jumper. We are tied. But it was Shireman. The third team All-American stepping back. Four seconds left. Kuznard. Kuznard drives, puts it up. No good. And for the second time tonight in Pittsburgh, we're going to overtime. Kuznard, runner. Yes. 29 for Kuznard. Alexander with five in the paint out to Ashworth deep three Good! Ashworth lets it fly fly from deep. Yeah, but look at Rigsby Rigsby's way off of him He's got to really get it One minute to go Alexander what a move then he hits Tracy nearly lost it 
20 seconds left. Kuznar puts up a three. Wow. Goodness. Timeout, Oregon. Five seconds left. Alexander with the ball. Two seconds left. Poked away. Alexander at the horn. No. He hit the game winner at Nova, but not tonight. Poked away, Alexander gets it back and nearly sends the Blue Jays to the Sweet 16. Alexander tied up inside, gets rid of it to Ashworth, there he is. Boom! Well, Creighton here, Ashworth does a good job of making himself available. I think he's a little tired. Alexander, what a move. Misses Green! Jason Green, rim rocking! I mean, he's the guy, Let it not let him shoot it, but if he's going to shoot it, okay. And then Green with the great follow-up there. Chance of CU for the Creighton fans here in Pittsburgh. And you know what, Andrew? A lot of times when it... Oh, 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 oh. Alexander, the bank open after midnight in Pittsburgh. A lot of times when a team dodges a bullet in the NCAA tournament, just let him go, go foul. A good team like this that really, in a lot of ways, I'm, they should have they could have lost very easily if Dante makes that one free throw. Those, those teams sometimes, they go on and win the whole thing. With a great respect for each other, I would imagine it'll be a pretty... Emotional handshake here. Dana Altman will be rooting for Creighton. But right now, it's the Blue Jays moving on to the Sweet 16.